Nebraska's news source. Melissa, you're a mom, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we know that. Uh, most of the time, it's not what we're doing, but maybe there's a little less of behind those action the kids are doing, as in moving books back into a new building. Yeah, the librarian for the city of Unalaska could have moved her books in a variety of ways, but mm -hmm. she chose the best way by bringing a community together to form a chain. Karen Kresh is a city librarian for the small town of Unalaska. It's a small community, about 4,500 people. And she acknowledges they're pretty isolated. Unalaska is on an island of the same name in the Aleutian chain. We're very, very remote. So the library on the small island is kind of the epicenter for people to socialize. The library also has a really important role in our community about um, just providing a gathering place for people to, to get together and hang out. So of course Karen was excited when the city decided last year to redo and expand the library. They renovated the entire building. So they gutted the building, which was uh, very distressing after we moved out. They had it down to the concrete floor. And, and the other the thing about Karen is down. that she loves what she does. I love reading and I just want to share that love with other people. It's really as simple as that. So when the renovation was done, Karen pitched an old school idea on how to get the books from this former military chapel back to the new library. Well, I think when I told people I wanted to do this, they were a little skeptical that it would work out. Because that idea seemed a bit fictional. We wanted to move our children's books as a community from that temporary location to our newly expanded library. And it's a journey of about 900 feet. So we thought it would be doable by by making a human chain. A human chain. So Karen put out a call on social media and the local radio station and the rest, well, it was a page turner. Thinking, oh, I don't know if this is gonna work out. A bunch of kids came over from the high school and they filled in the gaps and uh, it was really beautiful. Then we had a full chain from the the temporary library all the way to the new one. So. so for one hour on a spring day in 2023, 250 people came together. The Unalaska universe was linked with all shapes and sizes of books and people passing and smiling, forming so much more than just a human chain, memories. We had volunteers from all walks of life, all different political viewpoints. So as you might imagine, Karen had a method to her madness. They could have moved the books without all these people. This was simply library book magic. Uh, it was more about the the symbolism and the um, getting together as a community and everybody participating, everybody having a chance to help than actually moving the number of books. So all of I this was much more than a human chain. It was the bonding of an unforgettable memory. And that... Yeah, as a librarian, I, I could use that positivity um, in the world today. The All Good News. Yeah. That is so cool. <laughs> Wasn't that great? Yes, I love that. Yeah, it's just a great story. Uh, most of the thousands of books were moved back into the new library in big boxes. But Karen says passing the 500 children's books using human change is something none of those people will ever forget. She really yeah. brought the town together. I was just thinking that, like, that memory will be with them mm -hmm. forever. And they had a grand opening for the new library on Sunday, April 30th. It was another moment for all of those Unalaskans to get together again and celebrate new beginnings. They've got a new gathering spot there, fresh <laughs> yeah. paint, uh, and the books in their back in their home. Yeah, congratulations. Thanks, Karen, and uh, the entire crew there for allowing me to use all those pictures. All right, here's Nora O'Donnell with uh, what's coming up at 5 uh, here.